words make you things flash in your mind. When you said sympathy, I thought of that Rolling Stones album and the cover, Sympathy for the Devil. Same thing. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just quickly interject here. I know Warren did want Timothy to read something else. And because Warren is so wonderful, more Warren the Wonderful, we're going to let Timothy the Talented come back up and read something for Warren the Wonderful. Today, hopefully. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Okay, let's see if I can find something. <laughs> Sack of Hammers. They have discovered all his old homes and demolished them. Like recycled cereal boxes, they contained the goods and then were empty, posing in their best moments as curators of the memories of past breakfasts. The spirit of such things, the golden wheat fields waving, everything just right in the free world of memory and the houses are splinters or ash or part of the smoke casting up red sunsets all of hot august they missed the corner where she pinned him against the spider webs kissing him with the dangerous french kisses of the early 60s this only happened once but 50 years later the dangerous alcove on Johnson Road holds this memory like a bird in a fist. And they missed the tree. The one focal point outside the school window, always there, experiencing the variety of weather, the wind and the sleet on the edge of the playground, beside a pile of rocks, easily imagined tailings of slow glacial action, of the grade school years made of days of suction cup relativity, a sluggish movement toward the unknown, the, unque the questionable. They missed the alcove of webs and the tree of reality. They missed the ancient path traversed, bent over through blackberry and scrub brush above the serpentine Campbell's, Campbell River twisting below the low stick flight of blue heron below the track leaving town for the wild west across the arch border to the land of pistol whipped intelligence and empowered sacks of hammers. I guess that's for Donald Trump. <laughs>